Welcome back. In this series, we will guide you through the process of installing key clock on Windows 11. In just 5 minutes, you will learn how to download, install and configure key clock on your Windows 11 machine. We will walk you through each stage. Ensuring you have a smooth and successful installation experience. Key Clock is open source identity and access management solution that provides centralized authentication, authorization and user management for your applications. Go to the browser and type Key Clock. The first one is the official website. Click on this one. Here you can see the download option. One in the front page and another from the main menu. So you can choose any of this one. I am choosing the download from the browser. And here you can see the options like server, client adopter. So first click on this download and here you can see the two options, the zip and the tar. The zip is a good option because you just have to click uh, on unzip and you can proceed. As you can see the download has started. It will take a while. Go to this location, open file. And from here we can extract the file so let's extract this here you have to make one more note that for this key clock the Java is the key request so Java 8 or higher versions are quite applicable I am using Java 19 for my key clock installation once the extraction is complete Click on this one and here you can see the readme file. Click on this one. Here we can see the quick information how to run the key clock. In case of Unix and Windows. So for Windows we have to navigate to the bin location and run the kc.bat file. And for running this in development mode we have to just run from the bin location while running this batch file with start dev. So let's see how it can be done. So once we navigate to this bin location we can see here there are three windows batch file. One is related to the KC as we have seen. Another one is for admin purpose and the third one is for registration. So let's navigate to this folder. From the command prompt, open this location and type here kc.bat. As you can see, it is asking to run for which environment you are interested for the development or the testing and you can provide the specific options. So let's copy the first one. And type here. It will take a while to do the configuration. Now you can see the message running the server in development mode. Now the last step is as we have seen in the readme file. Once we start this for the development environment, we have to navigate to the browser using HTTP localhost. So we can see the welcome page. Let's type localhost 8080. So this is the welcome page for key clock. Now we have to create the admin account by typing any details. I am typing admin and admin as a username and password. And you don't need to save this thing. As you can see this message admin has been created successfully. Now we can log into the admin console using the user we have created. So we have to provide the username and password here. And click on sign in. As you can see this is the admin console. And we can take it further from here 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to support us.